Sam Altman saw that as kind of a great way to market open AI, but you had people who actually believed it and then who were getting increasingly worried over the past few weeks. Yeah. Sam Altman is spearheading a gigantic $7 trillion project aimed at revolutionizing the AI chip industry. If this project was ranked on GDP, it would be third globally behind the U.S. and China. This ambitious project aims to transform the semiconductor industry by boosting the production of AI chips, making sure that the progress in AI technology is not hindered by existing limitations. But why does Altman need such a huge investment? What is he really up to? Let's find out. Before we begin, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel as we strive to bring the latest and greatest from the world of AI. A while back, the Wall Street Journal reported that Sam Altman is seeking to secure up to $7 trillion to boost the global supply of semiconductor chips significantly. It is essential to make this point here that these investments are not directly linked to AI development, but to build an infrastructure for it. The CEO of OpenAI has been in discussions with potential investors, including the government of the United Arab Emirates, to address the worldwide chip shortage. Altman is pitching his proposal as a collaboration involving OpenAI, chip manufacturers, and investors who can fund the construction of GPU chip plants, which would be operated by established chip makers. Last year, Altman forecasted that the severe chip shortage would begin to alleviate in 2024 as more participants entered the market. It was at that moment when Mr. Altman emphasized the necessity for expanded infrastructure to support the progress of AI. He recently took to his Twitter and said, We believe the world needs more AI infrastructure than people are planning to build. Building massive scale AI infrastructure and a resilient supply chain is crucial to economic competitiveness. OpenAI will try to help. If we look at the track record of OpenAI, it has been a super successful company. Reports from the Financial Times suggest that OpenAI generated over $2 billion in revenue last year, positioning the company alongside tech giants like Google and Meta as one of the few Silicon Valley startups to achieve $1 billion in annual revenues within their first decade, despite being established only in 2015. To discuss this further, we need to establish why silicon chips are super important for developing artificial intelligence systems. CPUs are the most common type of processors in computers. They are everywhere, including in whatever you're using to watch this video. They can perform a plethora of tasks, but they have a smaller number of cores compared to GPUs. What does that translate to? Well, cores in CPUs and GPUs are the fundamental processing units within these components. CPUs are general-purpose processors that handle a wide range of computing tasks, and they typically have a smaller number of cores, ranging from 2 to 64 in modern processors. These cores are integrated in a way that they perform a wide range of applications, but they specialize in none. GPUs, on the other hand, are purpose-specific. They have a higher number of cores, they are optimized for purpose-specific tasks, and they require way more power than a CPU. Often referred to as the rare earth metals or even the gold of AI, GPUs stand as the bedrock of today's generative AI era for several reasons. Firstly, GPUs boast the power of parallel processing, enabling them to tackle complex computations with remarkable efficiency. Secondly, their scalability reaches towering heights, rivaling even supercomputers in capability. Thirdly, the broad and deep GPU software stack tailored for AI ensures optimal performance across a spectrum of applications, from training to inference. This translates into faster calculations compared to traditional GPUs, propelling advancements in AI across diverse domains. GPUs are in consistent development because even before AI, they had proven their prowess in gaming, designing, video creation, animations, simulations, 3D, and crypto mining. Stanford's human-centered AI group underscores this transformative journey, noting a staggering 7,000 times increase in GPU performance since 2003, accompanied by a remarkable 5,600 times improvement in price-to-performance ratio, as highlighted in their recent AI report. In June of 2023, a McKinsey report estimated that generative AI could contribute between $2.6 trillion to $4.4 trillion annually across 63 analyzed use cases spanning industries such as banking, healthcare, and retail. 
Currently, over 40,000 companies leverage NVIDIA's GPUs for AI and accelerated computing, fostering a global community of 4 million developers. We cannot forget that there are other players as well. We cannot forget AMD and what good they are doing in the GPU industry, but their sales tilt towards the more gaming and content creation side of the market. Now that we've established why and how GPUs influence AI, let's discuss why a huge global shortage might unfold. The global chip shortage that began in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic has not entirely dissipated. It's expected to continue for at least five more years with potential disruptions and mismatches between supply and demand. The usage of chips is increasing due to the growing demand for smartphones, computers, and other electronic devices. The Internet of Things, 5G, and the electrification of the automotive industry are driving high demand for specific chips. However, the supply chain remains disrupted, with lead times for elemental semiconductors extending past 40 weeks and high-end components experiencing lead times of over 52 weeks. The auto industry has regained its manufacturing pace, but potential disruptions in chip supply remain, and production momentum has pushed a 1 million unit year into the next decade. To address these issues, governments and chip manufacturers are investing in new production facilities. For example, the CHIPS Act in the United States provides about $52 billion in government subsidies for research and production of semiconductors. These new facilities were planned when the demand was high across the board, and manufacturers must now be cautious of the risk of overcapacity if demand weakens. This is why Sam Altman realized he needed to do something in the silicone infrastructure. Before any other competitor or AI entrepreneur, he realized that a shortage of chips could potentially be the biggest threat to AI, which he deems an essential need for evolving mankind. If we peep into the chip manufacturing circuit, a handful of key players reign supreme, with NVIDIA reigning as the undisputed leader, trailed by AMD, Intel, and Qualcomm. These industry giants boast years of experience and expertise in crafting and distributing AI chips. However, their dominance is not without its challenges. Firstly, they struggle to keep pace with the soaring demand for AI chips, a demand that outstrips their production capacity. Secondly, their ability to innovate and enhance their AI chips is hindered by the limitations inherent in current chip technology. Thirdly, intense competition from other sectors like smartphones, gaming, cloud computing, and automotive puts pressure on them to maintain competitive pricing. For entities like OpenAI, this presents a significant obstacle. The scarcity of affordable, cutting-edge AI chips hampers their capacity to advance and innovate in AI projects. Unwilling to accept this status quo, Sam Altman is determined to disrupt the industry, envisioning a future where AI flourishes unhindered by such barriers. He plans to invest in chip companies, build fabrication units that make chips efficiently, and explore new technologies like neuromorphic and quantum chips. But does humanity need AI to an extent that it invests more money than the Indian and Japanese economy combined? When considering the impact of this ambitious initiative, it's imperative to acknowledge that economically, AI stands as a formidable force projected to contribute trillions to the global GDP and generate millions of employment opportunities. This underscores the crucial role of AI infrastructure in facilitating such expansion. Serving as the backbone of various industries, AI infrastructure fuels progress, creativity, and effectiveness, thereby becoming indispensable for nations striving to retain competitiveness in the international arena. Moreover, socially, AI is fundamentally reshaping all aspects of existence, with its impact poised to escalate further. Sam Altman's ambitious project envisions a world where personalized healthcare, innovative environmental solutions, and tailored education are the norm, not luxuries. Through harnessing the potential of AI, Altman aims to tackle pressing global issues head-on. According to him, this initiative goes beyond mere technological advancement. It seeks to use AI as a force for good, addressing challenges like climate change, medical research, and education accessibility. With Altman's announcement of a $7 trillion AI project, a rallying cry echoes for global collaboration. It's a call to action for innovators worldwide to shape a future where technology empowers humanity to surmount seemingly insurmountable obstacles. This initiative heralds not just technological progress, but a historic moment in which human ingenuity converges with AI to forge a brighter tomorrow. But like any 
any other dream in the world, this dream of Sam Altman's is not without ifs and buts. The project has also drawn criticism and concerns about its environmental impact, the ethical considerations of advancing AI technology, and the potential unintended consequences of a massive undertaking by an individual. Subscribe to AI Symbiosis for more AI news and updates. Are you aware of the drama that unfolded in late 2023 by OpenAI and Sam Altman? If not, please click on the video popping up for more details. We'll see you there in a second. See ya!